Section 7.5, electron affinities. So we've already seen ionization energy. Okay, so ionization energy is how easy is it to steal an electron? Okay. Electron affinity is how easy is it to add an electron? So if I add an electron and I get a lot of, a lot of energy back, then it's very easy to do that because that's going to happen spontaneously. So if I have to add energy to crowd an electron on you, then that's not going to happen automatically because where's the energy going to come from? But if I can if I can steal an electron if if I can steal an electron, and you get energy back from that, then that's going to be very most likely going to happen. So electron affinity is an energy change accompanying the addition of an electron. So most of the time you're going to get money back. It's exothermic, so it doesn't take energy to do it. But there's a couple times that you will have to add energy, and I'll show you how that works. So look here, if I am at beryllium, I have to add energy in order to do that. Why? Well, these two guys are in the S's and it's full. So if I add an electron, I'm going to have to put it into, or this is 2S, I'm going to have to put it into the 2P and that's a higher energy level. Okay, so there's no place for it to go. Its room, or, its room is full. So if it's going to have to take that new electron that it steals and put it in a higher room, then any energy that it gets from it is going to have to be spent in housing it, and so it's not likely going to happen. The same thing is going to happen here in group 5. If you remember, there are three orbitals. Each girl gets a room first. Then, once you get to oxygen, you'll have to, you'll have, to have somebody have a roommate. Well, that is not good because electrons don't like to be together. So, so to add an electron to a nitrogen is higher energy. You have to actually put energy into it. But if you have something like group 7, look at group 7. Chlorine is negative 349. That's the highest ele electron affinity. That means if you add an, elect if you add an electron to chlorine, you get 349 kilojoules of energy back for free. It gives you that because it wants to be stable like argon. And so it's very, that's what the affinity means. Affinity means wants it or likes it. So how much does it want it? How much energy do you get back if you give it an electron? So anything in group seven is gonna be the highest. This is the highest electron affinity. Look at group eight. Group 8 is all above uh, zero because it's full. Its shell is completely full, and if it steals an electron, it's going to have to go to a new row, not just a new subshell, but a new row and put it in there, and that's too expensive. And so argon doesn't want an electron. You can't make an argon negative um, ion. It won't, just won't form it. So anything, anytime you've got a full subshell, it doesn't want one, but if you have an unfull subshell, like a group 7, okay, because group 7 remembers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, it wants that last one, it wants to be stable like, like group 8, so it's going to be very likely to steal. That means that things on the right side of the periodic table are going to be very likely to steal. Group uh, things on the left side are more likely to be stolen from. Okay, They would rather become cations and be more stable that way rather than have to steal to, to be stable. So that's the, the trend, general. So here's a, a schematic. You can see that electron affinity fluorine is very negative. You're going to get tons of money back. Chlorine is the most negative. Bromine, iodine, all of these, all these group sevens are very, very, very uh, electron affinity. They want electrons. So if you can give them one, they'll give you money for it.